Hey, uh, what's up guys? Um, so yeah, this isn't the typical video that I normally post. Uh, this is probably the most serious video I've posted. Um, there's one question that I've been avoiding of answering and didn't really want to talk about it before, but I felt like I owed you guys, not just you guys, my friends, people I'm close to, Team Misfit, an explanation for uh, what happened in 2021. Um, 2021 for me was the worst year ever and the lowest I've ever felt in my life. Um... Twenty twenty one was mental and emotional hell for me. Uh, I was I literally felt the most loneliest I've ever been. I'm a pretty independent person, but I always hang out with people, you know. But that was the just the loneliest I've ever felt. Uh, I won't say everything that happened. I'll give you guys just like the a good picture of what happened. Um, and it's kind of hard for me. I don't really open up like the way I open up, like uh, the way I'm going to open up right now. Or the way that I, uh, yeah, I don't really open up a lot to people. But, uh, no, I don't know. It's probably going to help me a lot more if I, uh, if I let it out, right? Um, I've only said this to one person, which is why this video will go up uh, yeah, I've only said this to one person and to that one person, if you're watching this, thank you a lot again for just listening, letting me just say it and you know, just having my back. It means a lot and it's helped me a lot. So far, it's given me kind of the courage to kind of record this video and post it whenever I, yeah, you know, whenever I'm going to post this. Um, the reason why I didn't post in 2021 and haven't really consistently posted this year as much was because in 2021, uh, people that were really close to me, family members, uh, they just, uh, I don't wanna cry in this video, I don't wanna cry in this video. Um, I've ever heard my family members talking about me. I thought that they were calling my name because I heard my name. And you know when... You know when people say the truth about you because they don't think you're around or... You know you're not around, you're not even anywhere close to them. So they, you know they say what they really think about you behind your back. Right? So bunch of my family members um i won't say everything that they said but let's just say that in their eyes i'm the family failure and kind of a waste of potential of what i could have been i guess in their eyes and that uh that hurt a lot that uh that cut deep with me just uh it crushed me it, it took me the lowest i've the lowest I've ever been in my life, like mentally and emotionally, like low, the lowest. Um, it's just cause, I mean, growing up, I never had a lot of people believe in me or think that I was good enough for anything. So in game days or graduation or those big days for me, 
It was cool to have a small group of people that were there and did believe in me. And then I made them, while I was making my, while I was making myself proud while doing what I was doing, I was also making them proud. And then to find out that, I don't really know when it started, but that they were just putting on a mask. That they were just faking it just so they could look like the cool, you know, that supportive family members that were there to make themselves look good and to find out that they, they didn't think you were worth it. You know, they also didn't think you were good enough. They didn't believe in you or, you know, and, uh, you know, I just felt really alone and really unwanted. I never thought I would feel that thing again, especially from these people that are literally my family members say something like that. That hurt. And it crushed me and, the, and that fire that I had in me went away and that creative spark went away. Everything went away after that. And, you know, I started thinking to myself that maybe it was me. Maybe, maybe they were right. So I started acting different. I started acting the way that they wanted to. And it made, it, it made me feel a lot worse because I wasn't being me. I was pretending to be someone that I wasn't. And, um, you know, I can't change who I am. Not even, not even for, for my, for my family members. I can't change who I am. You know, and, uh, and yeah, I just felt alone and unwanted and like, I was a burden to everyone. So, I didn't talk to anyone. I was, I kind of isolated, I have, I, I isolated myself. And I know what you guys are probably going to say, like, hey, why didn't you talk to your friends or Team Misfit or anyone that you were close with? It's because I felt like such a burden to everyone. And I didn't want, I kind of felt like, in my head, I felt like I was the reason why. I was, I was holding my friends back. I was holding down, I was holding back the people that were the closest to me from accomplishing whatever they wanted to do. Because it hurt what... My family members said it hurt so much. That's what I thought. Thought it was, thought it was a burden. To everyone, and it was better off if, if I wasn't around as much. Which I wasn't. I did not hang around or talk to anyone for a, almost a full year. You know, cause it, man, it hurt a lot. Man, it just, it just hurt a lot. Um. So to my friends, to the Team Misfit members, and or anyone that I'm close to, I'm so sorry if I made you feel like I didn't care about you, or didn't care, or you know, you felt like I was pushing you, like I was pushing you away, because kind of was. So I'm sorry I wasn't around. It's just... I didn't want to bring that negativity to you, to your life. So I just wasn't around. You know, and I felt like I was holding you back. I felt like I was getting in your way from you guys accomplishing the stuff you guys wanted to accomplish. So I wasn't around. And, um, you know, then I, a while happened. And I started talking to, uh, I only told this to one person, and I don't know if that, I'm not going to say that person's name, because I don't know how people will view this video, so I don't want to say their name, but to that person, you have no idea how much that helped me, like, truly, it means so much to me, <laughs> that you listen, because it's scary, um, in my head it was so scary for me to open up like that. You know, and uh, to my family members watching this, because I know that there's, I know there's going to be a couple of you guys watching this. Um, I'm sorry that I didn't 
become the person, or I'm not the person you thought I, I was going to be or whatever. And I don't know when you must, you know, stop believing in me or whatever. But, uh, I don't know. Maybe you wanted me to say this the whole time or I don't know. But congratulations, by the way. You, you did it. You did the one thing a lot of people in my life been trying. A lot of people have been trying to do in my life. You dragged me down the lowest I've ever been. <clears throat> yeah, you did it. You did it. You guys, you guys did it. So, uh, congrats. Ah, uh, and uh. This is going to sound crazy, but even after you said that stuff and, uh, you know, dragged me down into that hole, to that, you know, just kind of that dark place in my mind and really put me at the lowest point of my life, I, uh, I forgive you, but I don't forgive you because you deserve it. And I don't forgive you for you. I forgive, I'm forgiving you for me because I don't want to have that anger that pain that hurt i don't want to have it in here anymore i don't because all it's going to do is hold me back from reaching that level of success that i know i'm gonna i'm gonna that i know i'm gonna achieve uh and to everyone else watching this that has had my back supported me even though we did even though people did unsubscribe and that's okay i didn't post for a year that's it is what it is uh, thank you by the way for having my back and i promise i promise i'm gonna do something one day to make all of you guys proud and prove that you guys were right in believing in me and having my back this whole time I'm gonna make, yeah, I'm gonna prove you guys right. And for everyone that's going through something like this right now, or did go through something like this, and you're you know, building yourself back up, I know how it feels, that loneliness, that anger, that pain, you know, that feeling like no one wants you, you know, no one really gives a damn about you. I know how it feels. Um, and if you haven't, gone through something like this I hope you never ever do because it sucks and it hurts so so bad but for those people that are going through this and uh, don't do what I did talk to someone to anyone someone that you trust just one person when obviously when you feel like you're ready to talk about it talk to someone I know in your mind it seems scary but trust me it helps out so so much you have no idea and it does get better over time but you gotta you gotta talk to someone first all right to everyone else yeah yeah just uh if I could go back and change one thing that I did in that time, I really wish I would have talked to someone earlier, you know, because it did help a lot. Uh, it does get better. And I know you probably feel like there's no one in your corner and maybe you feel like there's no one that believes in you or nothing, but you are, you're wrong. You have one. Uh, me. I... I believe in you. So whatever you want to do, hey, I got your back. You have had my back. I got your back until till the end of the line, till wherever the end of the line is for us. Uh, I got your back the whole way. Um. So yeah, so not not alone. 
I know how it, I know how it feels. So, hey, if you don't want to talk to anyone that you're around first because you're scared to do it, you can message me if you want. If a bunch of you guys message me, it might take me a while, but I will promise I will respond to each and every one of you as fast as I can. I'll do it. All right, and thank you for having my back and everything. And just remember, you're not alone. You're not the only one that's been through some. That's been through some shit. All right. But yeah. Man, it looks like uh. Yeah. I don't know. I'll just uh. I hope this helped some of you guys if you're going through it, through some things. And, uh, I, uh, you got one person in your corner, so it's, it's better than having no one, right? Anyways, I'll, I'll see you guys soon, okay?